nscaler 454 here. Today we are going to make some rock molds. I bought some Woodland Scenics rock molds. They come in various different sizes and shapes. I chose some that are relatively shallow because I work in N-scale. Now the first thing we're going to do is mix up our plaster. I use Plaster of Paris. Uh, it says to use a 2 to 1 ratio, 2 parts plaster, 1 part cold water. Um, you can kind of figure out the mixture that you want on your own, but uh, we'll start with that and see how it turns out. I have no idea how much to mix in there. Helps if I actually keep it in the you know, pot. I'm supposed to use one and a half of these, right? Now my plan is to actually mix this into a somewhat runny solution, I guess, because I want it to pour in there quite easily. And I feel like I need more water. Then I used way too much. Ooh, I think we're about there. Now the next step is to spray the molds with wet water, which is just water with a couple of drops of liquid uh, detergent in it. So, I'm sure you probably don't want to soak them with water, but I wish I had a little bit finer of a mist. That would have been nice, but it's okay. We'll soak up any pools of water like that. Having that water sprayed onto the surface really makes it a lot more a lot more runny. Okay, now they say jiggle it, bang it around, get rid of the air bubbles. Well, shall we do the big one? Why not, hey? So we'll let these dry for a good 45 minutes and we'll see how they come out. So I left these for about an hour, I'd say. Um, let's try taking these out and see if they turned out at all. First thing we're going to do is kind of crack them. I don't know if that's smart or stupid or what. If you haven't noticed, I don't know what I'm doing. A1 came out. And we did this big one. <laughs> okay. Well, we will can around here, crack the seam. That off, and we will peel it up. Oh, the peel works. 
The field appeal works. Yep, sure does. Put those down and the peeling process begin. We got one more in there. And that's it. So I think these turned out really good. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like on the layout. You can see they're slightly different shapes and textures. These are a little more jagged with some flat surfaces. These ones are a little more, you know, rounded, some soft texture, something that looks like maybe it was hit by uh, rain or water. Whereas this one, it appears to be maybe uh, part of some road construction or whatever, where it might have been hit by machines and some blasting or whatever. So it's going to be interesting for me to find a way to kind of mesh these all together, uh, which will be, I guess, a little bit of a challenge, but something that's going to be fun. The molds cleaned up really, really nicely. So I'm happy about that. Just took some soapy water and a... A scrub brush and yeah it turned out great good as new right so that's good news if you want to see how that's going to look on the layout be sure to subscribe hit the like button and thanks for watching